Welcome back to the TMC Project, and I'm excited to have you here. Today, I get to introduce you to Amy Morin. She's an expert in mental strength, and she has taught me so much over the years. In a recent article, she posted seven simple thinking exercises that will help you build mental strength. And today, I'm going to talk about the ones that have most impacted my life and personal development. Let's go. If you don't know, Amy Morgan is an international speaker, New York Times bestseller, and psychotherapist. She has spent years not only educating herself and gaining a wealth of knowledge, but also helping people on their own personal journeys, getting them to a point where they can truly take over their future. In a recent Inc. article, she goes over seven amazing exercises to help break bad thinking patterns, or at least to get the mind on a new pattern. I'm going to mention a few that have really gotten me true success. Amy tells us the importance of expressing gratitude. Now for me, gratitude has never made too much sense in my mind or body emotionally. The positive emotion I like to lean towards more is appreciation. And for me, it has effectively done the same thing. I like to call it forced appreciation. I don't ever want to think something is less than it is. So I'll spend active time finding everything that's beautiful, everything that's strong, everything that I like about it, completely disregarding all the negative. I'm trying to appreciate this person, place, thing wholly with every part of my body. I want to emotionally be very happy and appreciative of whatever's going on. Now, if gratitude doesn't work for you, I really recommend using forced appreciation. Make a list of why one of the items that you have is absolutely amazing and everything it does for you and how it makes your life better. You'd be amazed what you can learn by doing this. Not only will you find how things help you and what you like about specific things, you'll be happy. You'll be appreciative. You'll be loving life. There are many times when I was not happy or not satisfied with where I was in my life, my work, my personal development journey. And I would stop and I would spend active time forcing myself to appreciate the things that I did have in life. And it has changed my experience forever. And I highly recommend it for anyone who is not happy with where they currently are. Take the time to force it. You'll feel it. I trust. You'll feel it. Give it a try and you'll find out. Now that we've, now that we've really covered the light side, uh, the light side of thinking exercises, I tend to use a lot more dark-sided approaches to my personal development. And for a long time, I thought that was not great. However, after learning about Carl Jung and the dark side of human nature, as well as Taoism, um, the yin and yang of life, I've really learned to embrace both sides of the coin, knowing that that is life and the journey is going to move forward. And it's really how you apply them and not what they are. So. What are some thinking exercises that the shadow self will love to use and will still make you a better person? Argue the opposite. There is no better philosophy than looking at the circumstance that has you upset and then using the assumption, what if I was wrong and everything about this situation cause, was caused by me? What if everyone else had nothing but good intentions and it was only bad circumstances and mistakes that caused the situation to happen. You would be amazed when you remove your ideas, your thoughts, uh, your love for yourself from the problem. Your mind is a problem solver. And when you take the assumption that maybe you caused the problem, you stop making excuses for why it happened or so many meta things that happen when we add our identity into our problem solving. So by taking the framework of arguing the opposite, you're allowing your mind to tell you so many things that it would never do naturally. It would even hide them from you. Our minds don't want to make us feel like we're wrong. They want to make us feel like we're right and help us grow. Use that strength by arguing the opposite and discover things that no one else will ever be able to tell you and grow from them. Amy also talks about embracing a little self-doubt. When I read this, I think arguing the opposite with the assumption that you are wrong on every front that you feel right, I think kind of does both. I'm not even expressing a little self-doubt. 
I'll have the whole conversation with myself assuming I'm wrong and they're right and where do we end? <laughs> However, if you can't even be wrong in your thought patterns and your personal discussions of situations, how can you possibly see the whole thing? You're only seeing the sides that look right to you. Those sides might not even exist and they may not be right. So express a little self-doubt. You'd be surprised. You can destroy your own personal argument before it's even started and really get to problem solving by assuming you're not right first and finding out. And one of the hardest ones has got to be building your mental muscles. This is practice. The couple of tips that I've mentioned have been really useful in my life. That's only because I've used them throughout my life and I've used them consistently. I've also tried to teach myself to use them reactively to build in a habitual self that is looking to make my life better. However, if you don't do it, it's not going to happen. You're going to naturally go back to what yourself normally does. And where has that gotten you so far? If you're good, dope. But I think everyone's life is struggle. I think that's human nature. So we've got to actively be attacking it and beating it and living a higher level of consciousness, having more control over our situation and our circumstances. So I want to thank you guys so much for listening to this. You definitely want to click the link below. The Ink article gets seven tips, and they're all great. And any one of them could change your life if you just did it for the next four weeks. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Tell me how this has helped you. Definitely go check out her TED Talk. In 15 minutes, your whole life could be changed if you apply the knowledge given. Thanks for joining the TMC Project. I hope you are focused on your personal development. By making yourself better, everything becomes easier. Thank you for joining me. And let's go.